The hardest hit areas were in the provinces of West Java and Central Java, where torrential rains triggered sudden flooding. Rivers overflowed their banks, inundating homes, farmland and infrastructure in multiple towns and villages. The Indonesian Meteorological Agency issued red alerts for flash floods and landslides in the affected regions. Fierce winds with gusts reaching up to 90 km per hour uprooted trees and damaged buildings. More than 70,000 homes lost power as utility poles were knocked down across several districts. In the city of Bandung, streets turned into rivers, stranding vehicles and forcing residents to evacuate. Emergency responders used rubber boats to rescue people trapped on rooftops and in flooded homes. In Samaran, strong winds tore roofs off houses and caused widespread structural damage. The heavy rains triggered landslides in hilly areas, blocking key roads and isolating remote communities. Public transportation services were suspended in many areas due to impassable roads and dangerous conditions. and government offices were closed and residents were advised to avoid unnecessary travel. The National Disaster Management Agency reported that over 15,000 people were evacuated to emergency shelters. <laughs> Videos shared online showed floodwaters sweeping away motorcycles and submerging entire neighborhoods. Rescue teams, including the Indonesian military, were deployed to assist with evacuation and relief efforts. Airports in several regions experienced delays and cancellations as storm conditions disrupted flights. Yeah. 
floodwaters damage vital infrastructure including bridges, water treatment plants and power stations. Local farmers reported significant crop losses with rice paddies and vegetable fields submerged underwater. Health officials warned of potential outbreaks of waterborne diseases due to contaminated floodwaters. The government declared a state of emergency in the worst affected areas, mobilizing additional resources for relief. Meteorologists predicted more rain in the coming days, raising concerns about further flooding and landslides. Coastal regions experienced minor storm surges, causing additional flooding near the shoreline. The Indonesian Red Cross set up emergency shelters and distributed food, water and medical supplies to displaced families. Cleanup efforts began as soon as the waters receded, with volunteers and city workers clearing debris and mud. Officials emphasized the need for better flood management systems to prevent future disasters. The storm highlighted Indonesia's vulnerability to extreme weather events and the ongoing challenges of climate change. <laughs>